Hey, I'm Rohan Ganachari from FinSuite and I'm the product owner of CMS Bridge. I'm very excited to do this walkthrough on what CMS Bridge is and how we can set it up to power your workflow. What is CMS Bridge? It is a native Airtable extension that allows you to sync data between Webflow CMS and Airtable. The goal of CMS Bridge is to mirror data from one platform onto the other. The data flow is unidirectional. We want to give Airtable superpowers to Webflow CMS, which means Airtable should be the single source of truth for your data. If you want to integrate CMS Bridge into an existing project, then watch this tutorial. All right, now we are ready to start. There are three prerequisites to use CMS Bridge. First, you will need a paid plan on Airtable because the paid plan gives you access to Airtable extensions. And as I mentioned earlier, CMS Bridge is an Airtable extension. Second, in Webflow, you get 50 CMS items on the free plan. If you want to increase that limit, then you need to upgrade the project's site plan to either their CMS plan or the business plan. Third and the final prerequisite, you will need a FinSuite account to use CMS Bridge. Don't worry, it's free to sign up and you can do it from within the app. FinSuite account is used to store tokens, track usage and manage subscriptions. Note that neither FinSuite nor CMS Bridge store any data. We only sync them between platforms. For this tutorial, we have one Airtable table and one Webflow CMS collection ready. I've already created all the fields in both platforms that you'd normally use. For example, an image field, rich text field, etc. And added some random data. Now, let's learn how to set up CMS Bridge. In our Webflow CMS collection called Motorcycles, we need to manually add a plain text field called Record ID. You can name it anything you want, but make sure your clients or colleagues know what it's used for and that they should not delete it. It's also extremely important to note that you should not mark this field as required because that causes a field linking error inside CMS Bridge. Remember to create this field in every CMS collection that you want to sync with Airtable. Next, we go to our Airtable base with a table that's also called motorcycles. Here, Let's create a last modified time field. We need to do it manually as well. To install CMS Bridge, head over to the Extensions tab and click on Add Extension. It opens the Airtable Marketplace. Here, type CMS Bridge in the search field and when you find it, click Add Extension. I'm going to close the full screen view because I prefer working from a smaller view while looking at my data. I'll also resize the window to make it bigger. Note that you only need one instance of CMS Bridge per base. You can build as many connections as you like inside this one instance. You need to log into a FinSuite account to use CMS Bridge. If you're building for a client, then I suggest logging into their FinSuite account as they would retain ownership of all the collections and of course, manage the subscription. Let's log in. Click create a new connection. Let's connect with Airtable. Select the base you're on. Here, we are giving CMS Bridge access to the selected base to sync data. Next, let's connect with Webflow. You can select as many websites as you want. Here, we are giving CMS Bridge access to the selected websites to sync data. Note that CMS Bridge stores the Airtable and Webflow tokens, so you can reuse them to build more connections, but we don't store any data. Click continue. Select the source. Now we'll send data from Webflow to Airtable. Later in the tutorial, we'll sync data from Airtable to Webflow. Select the site. Select the table, then select the Webflow CMS collection. 
For data flow from Webflow to Airtable, we cannot select an Airtable view. Note that CMS Bridge will mirror data from Webflow onto Airtable. If you have any data in the selected Airtable table, then it will be deleted. This is a good moment to take backups in both Webflow and Airtable to prevent any unintended data loss. Mandatory fields. You can auto create and auto link each field using CMS Bridge, and I will explain each one. You already know Webflow's name field and slug fields are mandatory in a CMS collection. We link Webflow's name field to Airtable's primary field, which in our case is also a plain text single line field. For Webflow slug field, we'll auto create an Airtable field and auto link using CMS Bridge. Webflow's CMS item ID is Webflow's unique identifier for a CMS item. Let's auto create and auto link it as well. CMSB action. This amazing field gives you control over the state of every single record. You can use it to set an item to draft, archive, stage, publish, or even delete from Webflow. Any option with the prefix RE colon is a response from CMS Bridge to you. For example, if you select draft item in Webflow, then CMS Bridge will perform that action during a database sync and respond with RE item drafted in Webflow. Of course, this field can only be used for the Airtable to Webflow database sync. If an item encounters an error during a database sync, then the response is RE colon item encountered error. And that error message is displayed in our next mandatory field, that is CMSB message. CMSB sync time. It logs the date and time at which an item was synced. Last modified time. We created this field manually because the Airtable API did not allow us to do it for you. CMS Bridge compares the value of this field with the value of the CMSB sync time to target specific records to sync so that not all records are synced all the time. Airtable record ID. We manually created this field in Webflow because the Webflow API did not allow us to do it for you. Just like the Webflow CMS item ID, the Airtable record ID is Airtable's unique identifier for a record. CMS Bridge uses both these IDs to perform verification before syncing. So that was all about mandatory fields. At this point, you can sync if you want, or you can continue adding additional fields. I will continue. When you select a field from either platform, CMS Bridge will only display its compatible fields in the other platform. You can see the full list of compatible fields on our docs page. Let's fast forward the field linkings. Sweet. As you can see, we've linked all fields from Webflow CMS to their corresponding fields in Airtable table. Let's sync. In Airtable, you can see the data being updated in real time. After a database sync is complete, you can view its report. Done. That was a Webflow to Airtable database sync. Now, let's do Airtable to Webflow. CMS Bridge was built to give Airtable superpowers to Webflow CMS. For this flow, you can select Airtable's formula fields, sync tables, and single reference lookup fields. We could simply change the direction inside the connection, and that would be it. But let's look at the best practice. There are three steps. Right now, the last modified time field is auto-updated no matter which field you modify. The change in the value of the last modified time field will tell CMS Bridge to sync that record. But we don't want that because we want to control when a record is ready for syncing. Moreover, unintentional and repeated syncing of the same record 
will eat up our credits. So step one, let's customize the trigger of the last modified time field. To do this, you need to create a separate single select field, call it sync status or anything you like and use it for your internal approval workflow. I'll add two options, draft and ready to sync. Of course, you can add as many options as you need. Step two, link the last modified time field to the sync status field so that the value of the last modified time field is changed only when sync status is updated. Step three, create an Airtable view that's dedicated to CMS Bridge. Call it synced with website or anything you prefer. In this view, add a filter to only show records with the status ready to sync. Like this, you can be sure that only records in this Airtable view will be synced with the website. I like to use emojis in important fields because they easily draw the attention of users and convey a message. I've already created some Airtable fields that you'd normally use. For example, the formula field and the currency field and added some more random data. Let's edit our connection. Change the data flow direction. Edit fields. Note that CMS bridge will mirror data from the selected Airtable view onto Webflow. If you have any data in the selected Webflow CMS collection, then it will be deleted. This is a good moment to take backups in both Webflow and Airtable to prevent any unintended data loss. Sync. Let's wait until the database sync is complete. In the meantime, I like to look at CMSB action and CMSB sync time fields to see if any records encountered an error. After a database sync is complete, you can view its report. In Webflow, you need to refresh the designer to see the updated data. Done. That was a Airtable to Webflow database sync. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need help, please go to our official support channel, FinSuite Forum and make a post. Our support team will be happy to help. Continue learning more about CMS Bridge in the next videos. And please support our YouTube SEO by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. See you next time.